hello guys and today i'm going to show you how to revolve the pmic which is called power ic especially when we lose uh, when we take out the nan and we lose the power ic especially and sometimes we lose the cpu so i'm going to show you the process how to revolve the power ic and uh, cpu with the same board so i'm just going to show you the easy process how to revolve the power ic and cpu with the same board so we have a specially tricks and i'm gonna show you right now look this is the on phone okay it's a working phone i'm gonna show you how to revolve the power ic on the same board okay and we will revolve the cpu also with the same board if so, in a such cases when you lose the cpu uh, in like in 11 series when you take out the nan sometimes you lose the power ic and especially with 12 series uh, like 12 12 pro when you take out the uh, when you take out the name sometimes you, you lose the CPU so I'm gonna show you the easiest way how to revolve the CPU and power IC with the same board so that's what we try telling you right now let's start and let's separate the board the logic board let's separate okay then I'm gonna show you how to revolve the power IC let's check out the logic board Now I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, remove the adhesive glue. So I'm going to uh, remove with the sharp blade. I'm not using other tool like 007 2UL. Uh, when you use the blade, uh, it's better for uh, the components around the uh, PMU. Uh, when you use the tool, mostly you damage the capacitor uh, around the uh, PMU so it's better to use a sharp blade but be careful for the surface don't cut the surface yeah remove safely with temperature 318 and air 60 let me cut the glue that has it because it's more thick so you should be careful when you uh, cutting the glue use the blade don't use a tool now it's almost done okay I'm gonna remove the power IC with the temperature 385 and air 60 but wait for a while when the ball like the pads it's boiling then uh, look it's now it's boiling now I'm removing the power IC look look at the balls the pads that's boiling so that's mean you remove safely now just clean that adhesive glue with the 008 tool with temperature 318 and air 60 no need to remove that glue with the iron it's better to remove with the tool but keep be careful don't scratch the surface yeah you will remove in a three to five seconds it's depend on your skills on your practice 
Yeah, it's almost clean, almost done. Just swipe with a liquid, and now I'm gonna clean with a wick, and then simply reballing and put it back. Now just need to reball, apply a 183 degree paste, yeah it's done and just wait for reball, yeah it's perfect, yeah beauty, now just give a flow of the heat now it's ready let's clean the logic board be careful around the capacitor resistance yeah be careful don't damage any capacitor any resistance around the PMU yeah it's almost done and now just clean the side areas yeah a little bit adhesive there yeah it's done already some of the pads they are together let me apply the UV glue yeah like that simple yeah now it's completely beautiful let's apply the power IC get it back and check the result apply with the correct direction yeah it's correct with 385 and air 60 just get it back yeah it's done already yeah it's almost done beautiful now check the result check the million pairs so finally we are done and now I'm gonna show you the phone work perfectly let's check the million pair uh, yeah let me check the million pair first yeah it's it's done no shortage let's switch on the phone because we recall the same power I see on the logic board now check the million pair that's normal and boom we are done finally so in next video i'm gonna show you how to revolve the cpu with the same board sometime in such a case when we take out the main we lose the power i see in such, such case uh, when we take out the main we lose look it's worked properly okay we just revolve the power i see with the same board in such case we lose the cpu so then we're looking for the cnc board and we're gonna swap so i'm gonna show you how to revolve the cpu with the same board with the easiest way thank you so much wait for the next video i'm gonna show you how to revolve the cpu with the same board it's really easy thank you so much subscribe our channel for your our next video thank you so much